So my name's Daryl and I am the Deputy Therapy Manager at Princess Alexandra Hospital and my role here is that I look after therapies, so that's speech and language, dietitians, physios and occupational therapists and basically coordinate the services and make sure things run day to day. The fellowship is really a blend of uh, learning, so delivered learning, delivered teaching by uh, lecturers that are very experienced in their field, uh, by researchers, it's a really good collaboration of talented people that come together and put a really good teaching program together for you. And that's delivered on a month by month basis um, and it's also blended with uh, opportunities to interact with other uh, peers and colleagues that are on the same intake and you can do um, various learning through action learning groups and, and it's a really nice resource and a nice way to dig deep into problems and discover potentially what's causing those problems and importantly how you could overcome those problems. So the reason that I'm attracted to the uh, fellowship was that my background was working as a physiotherapist and I was working in uh, Addenbrooke's in, in the emergency department and as you can imagine, busy environment, uh, busy day-to-day -day, and clinicians just generally get caught up in uh, the day-to-day -day workings that they find little or no time to actually explore some of their interests and particularly exploring research. So the fellowship just gives you a perfect blend of time away from your clinical environment and an opportunity to really explore that interest further. So my project that I'm currently working on is looking at the analgesic management of elderly patients that have been admitted via the emergency department with a hip fracture. So up and down the country, it's, uh, it's managed pretty poorly uh, from, from my background research um, in that patients aren't necessarily given enough analgesia. Um, and I really wanted to know why that happens and what, what stands in the way of our clinicians when they want to give analgesia, actually giving it. So my supervisor is Dr. Robert Ghosh, who's the uh, Divisional Director of Medicine and the Emergency Department here at Princess Alexandra. And I would say having a supervisor in your organisation is really, really helpful. Um, because I was really new to this hospital, um, I didn't necessarily know all my key stakeholders that I had to get involved. Um, and so your, your supervisor can signpost you and, and just join up those dots quite quickly for you. So put you in touch with the right people, get you involved in the right meetings. The stage that I'm at at the moment is I've just received um, the health research uh, authority approval for my project to actually go ahead. Um, so it's now been registered with our research and development department here at Princess Alexandra. So it's quite an exciting stage. I can now actually start collecting some data, which is really important. But like most things in research, when one set of obstacles move out of the way, I'm now faced with the next set, and that's really how do I get that and retrieve that information within this new environment that I work in. So that's the stage where I'm at right now. So I'm ready to push the button on actually getting information, but I've just really got a problem to solve the best way to retrieve it in this hospital. My advice would be if you have if you've noticed something within your organisation that you feel could be investigated further and you feel there'll be um, a really good outcome um, if that was done and it's not been done before and you're at that stage where you feel uh, with the right level of support, the right amount of dedicated time, you could take that further, go for it. I think if you're worried about going into research, don't be because everybody's coming from similar backgrounds in that some people have done a bit of research, some people have not done any. And I think the way the fellowship is designed and set up is really to arm you with those important skills uh, through lectures on a month by month basis, through uh, action learning groups where you can learn from each other. So you get the foundations to really sort of give you the confidence to take your project through. So my advice would be apply, pitch your idea and see how you get on. Thank you.